thirsty. Ugh. Let's start by showing you the calendars. So we got some chocolates as usual. And the joke of the day is what kind of paper likes music? Wrapping paper. Okay. This is, I'm guessing, a little bit side, uh, like a sideboard table with a drawer inside. Then we got loads of little birds to go on the bird house we got yesterday. And the candle is winter glow. So it's now half nine. And I'm just out of my doctor's appointment. This morning was a crazy, crazy rush because James had to be at school with Owen and Alfie with all this Owen stuff. At the same time, I had to be at the doctor's in another place. And it's just, it was just crazy. So that's why I didn't have time to vlog before that to explain. <coughs> I have this really annoying tickly cough, so you're gonna have to bear with me with that. It's just suddenly it starts tickling and it makes me cough. Anyway, um, I don't want to go into too much detail about why I was at the doctor's. Um, it's, it, it, I have been having uh, issues that have been lately, like gradually getting worse recently, uh, that are linked with Alfie's birth. And um, it's almost like I don't want to talk about it myself, but I, I'm, I'm wondering, would it be TMI for you? So, um, yeah, I'm not going to explain in full detail right now. So... Uh, I've been referred, it, it, should, it should take about two months or so for me to be seen, but it's, there's nothing dangerous in the meantime. Whatever I've been doing so far, the GP said to me that was great, that's what I needed to continue, so <coughs> that's what we're doing. <coughs> ah, anyway, um, I am now off to get my eyebrow, eyebrows threaded. I can't speak this morning. Um, they may not look that bad here, but believe me, they are really bad. Uh, there's a lot of blonde hair that you can't see on camera because my camera is, is nice and kind of blurs out the thing. Also, my, yeah, my face is a lot blotchier than it looks there. Um, I'm on the automatic setting and it's, it's a very flattering picture there. But on that screen anyway, I might just put it on my, ca on my computer and it might look a lot worse. But anyway, I'm getting my eyebrows threaded today and I will get them tinted with my eyelashes done on Saturday morning. Um, usually I do the opposite, uh, or I leave a long time in between, but um, because everything is a rush at the moment, I wanted to have at least a day in between for my um, my pores to close, my pores to close again, yes. I really can't speak, <laughs> ah! It's, it's getting to the end of the week, okay? Um, before I get the tint, otherwise if your pores are open, when you put the, the tint with the harsh products, it can go inside the pores and then it can hurt a lot. So um, <clears throat> that's what I'm doing now, then I'll go home. James is off this morning, but he's going to work in the afternoon. So I think he has to work, he has to leave about half twelve or so, so I better go. I also need to buy more Christmas cards while I'm out. So let's go! Let's go to get my eyebrows done and get Christmas cards. So this is the result. I'm looking really, really red and a bit like I've been punched. I haven't. I've just went to get my eyebrows done, but the result, oh, I'm so glad. It'll be even better once they are tinted, but at least, yay. Um, quite a few of you have been asking, why do I not get my eyebrows shaped and tinted in the same place? And it's for a very clear reason. Uh, I like the way I prefer to get my eyebrows threaded, but the girl who does my eyelashes and tinted my tinted tints tints my eyebrows. I really can't speak. Ah, uh, is not. Uh, she just uses wax, and I just prefer the threading finish. Uh, and I find that the girl who colors my eyebrows, I'm very very picky with that because I'm ginger, and. <coughs> <coughs> It's a very specific mix of brown you need to get to get it right so it's not super dark but it's also mixing with the ginger without being actually ginger. Um, uh, she's doing it really right and uh, any kind of other experience I have with other places I ended up looking with really dark caterpillars on my head. Um, they would always use brown and the darker brown and they, they, the way they do is that they are matching to the root of your hair but if you do that with my hair you don't get the ginger tinge and it just looks brown and not right so I like the way the other girl does it so I don't I just prefer the way of the tinting on one and the way of the threading of the other one so that's why I go to both they are both in the same area so it's not really bothering me they are both very close to my house so I'm home I actually stopped on the way to um, next to get my cousin had a baby yesterday a little boy so that's the fourth child of Owen and Alfie's generation in my family it's really exciting 
don't know if you will meet him at Christmas time because they were not meant to come because she was due very early uh, January I think or very late December so it was very close to the due date but the baby is already here so I don't know now I think it might be baby too close for them to come then they live in Paris so uh, but I got this top with the dinosaur and these uh, trousers for the baby and then these are the decorations I got in the store, which I'm in love with. So the thing I got from the same collection last year was that. And uh, so I got the stuff. See those kind of flowers, like those kind of folk designs. I love this. So I got the bird with the uh, little ball at the bottom and then the heart one and the star one. They have some teal ones as well, but I went for the red. I love red so much. I really don't know yet where I'm going to put them. Um, I was thinking of having that range in my kitchen for the decorations, but at the minute, actually, I might swap. I have at the moment. I have those um, jingle bells. There. Sorry about the the light right now. There I go. I might put those on the tree and put these there. Yeah, that's nice there. Yeah, I might do that and put those on the tree. Well, that's not, I need to adjust that, but I think I'm just going to do that for now. I've put the other ones over here, and I'm going to put these in the tray. Jenny says I need to leave the house for another hour, so I might actually make one of the truffles for the um, Christmas dinner. Uh, we're going to, it's made with Oreos and Nutella, it's Nutella truffles. But I'm wondering, should I make them now? So then, that's one of them done. Um, these ones keep, so... Because then I have some with uh, gingerbread, like ginger snaps and cream cheese, but well, I could keep them in the fridge. I'm just tempted to make uh, one of them already now, because I want to make some tomorrow and then some on Saturday as well. But it would mean I have less to do on Saturday then. Where's Alfie? I oh, know I can hear him, but... Um, so I've printed all the recipes I'm going to need. Uh, so then I can just have everything with me. So that's all the recipes. Some of them I've actually copied and pasted all on the page because they were like in YouTube video tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, or one of them, one of my friends sent it to me. So uh, I think, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do the Nutella truffles. So that's one thing done because it uh, shouldn't take too, too long. I think it's mostly blending a lot of things together and then rolling uh, things. Let's see. I printed all the comments on one of the blogs as well. Um, so many pages. There we go. Yeah, basically in Nutella ones, you just put everything into the food processor and then mix and then just put melted chocolate on top. This is what they look like. So I think I'm going to do that now. So then it would be one batch done. And I will show you what it looks like when I'm making it. So we have Oreos. Uh, and there I have 30 Oreos and seven and a half tablespoons of Nutella. I'm making one and a half times the recipe. This is a recipe I got on Pinterest. So hopefully it works. And then you need to just blend everything. You must the middle of your truffle. This is the result. I'm just going to sit it in the fridge for a while so it cools down completely. Hello. So we're back from school and I want to tell you about what happened on the way home. Wendy is a bit upset because... Do you want to say? Um, can you do one now? Can I do the other half? Yes. So will I do the beginning and then you explain? In one half and I do the other half. Okay. So we were walking home and the pavement was very slippery. And the wind tripped. Yeah. And he fell. And you want to explain what happened? Um, I have my cheek there. He banged his cheek. Uh, turn around your face a bit. So yeah, yeah you see, he banged his cheek there while it's red. No, and that is it. Take. Yeah, but it, it's reversed. The screen view thing is reversed. Yeah, it's this cheek, isn't it? Yeah. Because when you point at it, it's that the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The screen is flipped. And then... We need to clean his hands. Well, it didn't hurt his hand, but he landed on his hand, so there was a bit of mud on the ground. So I've cleaned most of it, but just quickly with the tissue. So I'm going to clean properly, and we're going to put some cream. So hopefully we don't get a big bruise. Yeah. Might get a little bruise, but that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, no big, but that really hot. No, it doesn't hurt that much, does it? 
only a bit, not too much. It's um, a little bit soft. If it's a little bit soft, no, no, it's because you banged it. But remember, we're going to clean it up and we're going to put some cream and then it'll be all better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to have loads of hugs as well. And we decided it was a good idea to have a pyjamas afternoon as well, isn't it? Yeah. And you're all cozy. Mm -hmm. I think it's getting to the end of the week and the end of the year and everybody's getting tired, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a cozy afternoon, I think. All right. And then we're going to get Alfie to sleep. So then we can watch. Yeah. That maybe this will be the end of the day vlog, maybe. Do you want to be the end of the day for the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be the end of the day for yeah. the vlog. Yeah. You're just, I'm too tired. You're too tired. Will mommy do the vlogging? Yeah. Yeah, mommy will do the vlogging tonight, okay? Right, I'm going to yeah. go now because I think somebody needs me. You need your mommy? Yeah. yeah. So no more vlogging until you're in bed, okay? Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll see you once when he's in bed. When wants actually wants me to vlog when I'm cleaning, um, doing the cleaning. So we're using this. It's disinfectant with cotton pad to cotton wool to clean it up first because the pavement was a bit muddy. Or will we clean your hand first? What would yeah. you do first? This one? Yeah. You're gonna see. Oh, it's very hard to vlog at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, because I only have one hand. Let me see. You know when you better to use two hands. See, look, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny scratch there. Look how tiny this is. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. What about your other hand? Does it have anything? Oh, marker. That's not really <laughs> the right thing. <laughs> well, it might clean some of it anyway. We'll just clean it to make sure it's all clean. There you go. And now we're going to take... Look, it made, it made this green because of the green marker. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a bit more. A bit more wool, wooly wool, to clean the face. And put it on. Come on, wooly wool. And now we'll do the face. Yay. So, do you even have some on your nose? You have some on your nose. Ah, uh, it's tickling. Yeah, no, it's a bit tickling. Or oh, you have a bit on your chin as well. Is it stingy a bit? Uh, yeah. Oh, monkey. There we go. It's all done, monkey. Aww. So, we're sorted now. <gasps> the cream was much better than it was not stingy, was it? Yeah. That was five sting. That was a five sting level and that was a zero sting. Yeah. Yeah. So he's actually buying his cheek and the side of his nose <laughs> and his chin. It's now 10 to 7. James should be home in about an hour, so he has an appointment tonight. I um, <coughs> forgot to show you earlier. I've made the... Mix for the truffle in the end. I decided to um, leave it in the fridge and do it like later. Didn't realize it would go so hard. Our fridge did about three degrees, so it's almost frozen. But I'll just take it out in advance before I make them. What I'm going to try to do uh, tomorrow is actually to prepare a lot of the mixture for the inside of the truffles. So then all that is made, and then I just have to do all the decorating mostly on Saturday. Uh, also, in case you haven't noticed, I've changed my pyjamas. I <laughs> just, just wanted to get comfy. Alfie actually just went to bed. Um, usually you wouldn't sleep until much later in the evening, but uh, he hasn't had a nap, so yeah, he just went up now, quarter to seven. It probably means that he will wake up at some point um, in the night, but he needs to sleep now. So, fingers crossed. We can get him back over quite quickly, but um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to stop the vlogging here for today. Um, Owen is doing much better now. Owen, do you want to come and say hello in the vlog? He's away to do something. I think he's away to get a dessert. <laughs> um, there's Owen. He's going to give you a little update. So as you can see, he's crushed and bruised his cheek and he's crushed his chin a little bit and the side of his nose a little tiny bit but it's a lot less bad than we feared isn't it it's not too bad no compared with the fall he had one more day to go do you think it will be all better by then yeah yeah well what about we'll check in the morning baby yeah the good way the quickest way to get um 
the bed and not go to school tomorrow. <laughs> no, you need to go to school and you need to do your play. <coughs> I haven't seen your yeah. play yet. Yeah. But guess what? It's one more day of school and then that's it. That was, a good, that was worth a shot, wasn't it? Can I go it? afterwards? The day after? Like, the, then we can Is the weekend we, then? Yeah. And you're going to Granny's on the Saturday? Yeah. And remember what's happening on Sunday? Sunday is a really exciting day because huh? on in the morning we might find a special delivery from Santa, an early delivery on Saturday. Oh dear. On Sunday, I mean. And then after we're going to Therese's house to do a Christmas dinner. How cool is that day? Yeah. Really cool, isn't it? Yay. Wait, do you want to say see you in the morning to everyone? See you tomorrow and also that's the end of the vlog.